Aloha, and welcome to the Pacific Tsunami Museum, located in downtown Hilo on the island of Hawaii. Your tour begins with a model of Hilo which depicts how the town used to look prior to the 1946 tsunami which devastated the island and shaped its future development. The story of Hilo exhibit provides many interesting facts about the history of the island and takes you from the 1700s up to the 1946 tsunami. There are stories of devastation, tragedy, courageous rescues, and recovery. The last devastating tsunami to strike Hawaii was the 1960 tsunami generated by a 9.5 magnitude earthquake in Chile. This exhibit features many survivor stories and demonstrates the resiliency of the community as they worked hard to rebuild using the lessons they learned from the tragedy. The local tsunamis exhibit is currently being renovated. Here's a sneak peek of the new exhibit which emphasizes knowing the warning signs of tsunamis and knowing what to do since unlike distant tsunamis, there may only be a few minutes to take action and get to safety. The Amazing Rescues exhibit features three incredible rescue stories which occurred at Lapahoehoe Point, where 24 students and teachers lost their lives in the 1946 tsunami. The Science Room teaches visitors about what generates tsunamis, the warning signs, the warning system, and research. It even features an earthquake simulation where the user decides whether to issue a tsunami warning. The interactive wave tank is one of our most popular exhibits. The Indian Ocean Tsunami of 2004 exhibit features many heartbreaking stories where visitors are often seen weeping as they watch the powerful videos. The Great Eastern Japan Earthquake and Tsunami of 2011 exhibit is currently under renovation and is scheduled to be completed by early 2021. The new exhibit will include other tsunamis that occurred in Japan throughout modern history. A 25-minute video is shown throughout the day to further enhance the visitor experience and to reinforce the important information we hope they will have learned from their visit to the museum. The goals of the Pacific Tsunami Museum are to prevent loss of life from tsunami events by promoting tsunami education and awareness as well as to preserve the social and cultural history of Hawaii. The museum also serves as a living memorial to those who lost their lives in past tsunami events. The museum opened its doors at its current location in 1998 and continually works to update and improve its exhibits and strives to provide the human stories combined with the scientific explanation. Mahalo for visiting the Pacific Tsunami Museum. This is Aceh, which is not only a tribe, but also a nation. With its rich history, culture, traditional language, and legal system, the Achenese nation is an example for the surrounding country. In addition, history proves that the Sultanate of Aceh was one of the top five kingdoms that spread Islam throughout the world. Thus, it was nicknamed the Veranda of Mecca.
until one day and even shook all humankind in the planet. December 26, 2004, an earthquake accompanied by tsunami devastated Aceh. The incident claimed 227,000 lives of its inhabitants. An earthquake with a magnitude of 9.1 richer, which is known as the fifth largest earthquake ever in history. This was followed by the devastating impact of the tsunami head of up to 30 meters, leveling the veranda of Mecca, destroying houses, and taking most of its beauty of the land. Within a day, the Athens people lost most of their life treasures. However, the Bait Rahman Mosque is still standing, a mosque located in the heart of Banda Aceh. This is a history that cannot be diminished from the Indonesian generation's memory, especially Achenis. This event invited various humanitarian, not only from Indonesia, but also from all over the world. Therefore, to continue relaying this history, the Aceh Nias Rehabilitation and Reconstruction Agency, the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources, the Regional Government of Nangro Aceh Darussalam, the City Government of Banda Aceh, and the Indonesian Architects Association initiated the construction of a historical monument as a vault of testimony to the Achenese generation for one of the world's greatest catastrophic events in history, known as the Aceh Tsunami Museum. The Tsunami Museum was inaugurated in February 2008 and has been visited by visitors from various countries worldwide. Not only as an object of memory, the existence of this building is also intended as an education center and an evacuation center in case the tsunami disaster strikes again. The building was designed by a lecturer in architecture at ITB Bandung, Amridwan Kamil, who raised the design title Rumo Aceh as Escape Hill. The traditional state house of the Achenes community is the basis for the idea of the building design. If you look at it from above, this museum depicts the tsunami waves, and if you look at it from below, it looks like a rescue ship with a large deck as a rescue site. This building is built as high as four floors, but the first floor is an open area that can be reached from outside the building area. Here is also a peace bridge that stretches 15 meters above a fish pond surrounded by 52 stones as a symbol of the number of countries that assist Indonesia for post Aceh tsunami reconstruction. This part is beautified by flags from various countries that read peace in various foreign languages. In this building, there is a dark alley with a head of 20 meters that welcomes the arrival of its visitors. This dark tunnel of water flowing brings visitors to the time dimension, where sufferers and victims are rolled by sea waves that are no longer clear blue. There is also Sumar Doa, a room displaying names of the victims filling the walls and roof in the shape of a funnel. In a year to residents who were fishing at sea, then run to save themselves from the waves. Meanwhile, the audiovisual room is designed as an infrastructure presenting documentary during the 2004 Aceh earthquake and tsunami. The third floor of this building has a special science and technology room. This is where various props that explain the earthquake and tsunami, ranging from photographs, miniatures to simulators, are stored. This room provides geological room facilities, a library, and a prayer room, where in the geological room, each visitor can get information about disasters, namely about how the earthquake and tsunami occur through displays and simulation tools in the room. 
The vinyl level of this building functions as an emergency rescue container in case a tsunami occurs again as a concept of safety and security for visitors. This is the Aceh Museum, representing historical facts in the westernmost region of Indonesia that have influenced the sympathies for peace in various countries in the world. This museum does not only stand immediately as a monument and a variety of tourist objects in Aceh. However, it is also a historical object, an education center, as well as a symbol of the strength of the Aceh people in facing the biggest disaster in the world. The Tsunami Museum is also expected to be a legacy for generations of Aceh and all Indonesian people in the future as a message and a lesson that the tsunami once hit Aceh, which has wiped out several cities in Aceh and claimed many lives. Whereas the tsunami once shed Aceh's tears before, then Aceh returned to be the city of Madani with the title Bumi Serambi Mekah.東日本大震災津波伝承館岩手津波メモリアル副館長の熊谷ですこの震災伝承施設は2019年9月に開館しました2011年3月に発生した巨大地震津波は岩手県の沿岸部に大きな被害をもたらし中でもここ陸前高田